newspaper I'm about to give me some new paper And I'ma be acting a fool Still packing a tool Still saying All right, hey guys We got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we got a special guest Kush been flocking Kush been flocking So never stop me I know you're gone So, um Everybody wants to know Like, why you changed your rap name? Um Fresh out of jail New start, new beginning For me I wanted to like Brand myself a little better for me, because as some people may not know, I'm not Blicky Gang, as on top of the fact that I wanted to start a new start, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I want to brand myself better, um, you feel me? So yeah, it's a new start for me. Time to, for me, turn up. You know, I've been flocking time. You know, so. so are you signed or independent? Or? I'm independent, strictly independent. Okay, okay, okay. So um, when you was growing up, who was you listening to? Um, Damn. I listen to a lot of niggas. I ain't gonna lie, I'm real, mm-hmm. I'm real broad. I listen to not only rap music too. I listen to a lot of pop, R and B, pop, all that shit. You feel okay. me? So I couldn't even a lot of people. I listen so who, to who's some pop artists that's you fuck on right now? Um, I right, listen. I ain't, gonna, I ain't been heavy on my pop shit lately. But when I was heavy on it, I was listening to Billie Eilish. I was listening to um Post okay. Malone. Okay. I was listening to um who else? It's a few people. I was I was locked in on my pop shit, especially when I was in jail. You feel me? Yeah. Why? Why in jail? It just no, different no, energy. Was, nah, cause it was just more of nothing to do. You feel me? So wow. I'm exploring. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. All right. So, do you consider yourself a drill artist? Um, nah, definitely don't. I just consider myself an artist. Period. I make music. You feel me? It don't gotta be drill. It can be whatever. I make music. Okay. And um, how did you get into music? Like, what's your earliest earliest memory? Um, like yeah, I've been music. rapping all my life. My first, my first memory recording music was probably with my pops. Me and my brother we recorded a song called ATM Money. If you remember back in the days, Busta Rhymes had that song. We getting a ride money. Yeah. That shit right there. We did that okay. shit over. We had a song called ATM Money. So y'all was like what, like fifteen at that? Time? Hell no, we was mad young, like mad mad young. Like I was 11? probably in fourth grade when we made that song, or third grade. So I was probably like eight, eight, that seven I? around there. So y'all was in the booth since kids. Yeah, that's a fact. We've been doing this for mad long. Okay, so your father has been supportive of the music yeah, he's been. scene for since the beginning. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when did you start taking music seriously? Um, we started getting real serious about it when we dropped our first song in like 2015, Street Talk. When we dropped that first video, that's when we really started taking it serious. Okay, and then did was the plan for always for you and K to be the dynamic duo? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what song you feel like made y'all pop, or what song you feel like had the streets, everybody looking nah, at y'all? We had a couple tracks. This, our little Street Talk trilogy had people's ears. Then we came with the, the trip to the 50s. We mm-hmm. came with Bye Vaz. We came with a whole lot of, we came with FTO. Like, we had a whole lot of tracks. And I came with my little um, mixtape. Me and K gave him had to. Like, we had a lot, of, a lot of tracks that I feel like woke the streets up. That's a fact. Okay, so... How do you feel about how the music scene is from then to now? Um, shit is kind of watered down to me now. Like, <laughs> it's like anybody could do it now. You feel what I'm saying? It's not like nobody's paying attention to who's really doing this shit and who's really just getting in the booth and making a song. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So you think it looks too easy now? Yeah, it's way too easy now. Anybody could do it. If you drop a song right now, you're going to go up, Koei. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> so, um... So, but you got locked up in the peak of your career. Trip to the 50s yeah. was at half a mil, I think. Yeah, that's a fact. Something like that. And then, so you got locked up while everybody was going up at that time. Yeah. How, like, what, what's your thoughts on how, where everyone is now? I know it's real different from back then. I mean, everybody know my stance on shit like this. I but not, if you was rapping around the time I was rapping, I, I can't stress this enough. I but not. I'm proud of you if you made it out with this shit you heard. I can't okay. stress this enough. Like, so what's make it out to you? Because you got artists like Jay Critch, like and then you got like Kodak Black. Yo, so it's like it don't matter. Like to me, any, if you in, if you better your situation and you and you coming outside and you looking better than what you was before you got that deal, then you doing good to me. You feel me? You doing good. You got you move your family out the hood. You, you feel me? You got some money in your bank account. You good money. Okay. All right, so what's what's some of your like career goals? Um, career goals definitely. Def- uh, to be honest, like 
I don't know, my short-term goals right now, basically, I, you know, I want to get on, 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 on all the major platforms where all the art, sound artists end up on in terms of, like, BET, in terms of Hot 97, in um, terms of, feel me, like, shit like that, big radio stations like that, big platforms like okay. that. So that's just a little PR and marketing stuff. That ain't nothing crazy. Yeah. Because, you know, artists be like, oh, I got to hit a million views. Nah, nah, nah. nah. That's nah. not the goal. I'm not doing clout. You <laughs> okay. feel me? I'm, I want to make it somewhere. You get what I'm saying? So, feel me? A million views ain't about nothing. I could drop a video today and it might hit a million views. That's okay. So, a lot of people say, like, in your songs, you don't curse. Yeah, that's a fact. I don't. So, is that on purpose? I mean, yeah, but, like, no. Because I've been doing it for so long. Like, it's like natural to me you feel me but uh yeah i'm not cursing in my songs like that's not what i'm doing yeah so you ready you radio ready pretty much. yeah basically <laughs> all my songs is radio ready you gonna get my shit on there get up there Stay. yeah so um so like but how did you get in that pattern of not cursing like um when i was younger because remember i told you your pops was young age my pops was basically on some shit like yo if i'm gonna have y'all in the studio to play this shit in front of your family because they're gonna see y'all in that studio. They're gonna want y'all. Right. They're too. gonna want to hear the music. You feel me? Okay. So, in order for y'all to make music, y'all can talk about what y'all want. Just y'all can't curse. That's what. That was our only stipulation. So. Okay. We can't curse to go to a free studio, million dollar studio. Shit ain't got nothing. <laughs> you feel me? So we gonna we gonna. So you've been practicing that from yeah. young. So once okay. I got old enough of age where I could do what I want, I just stuck with it. Fuck it. Okay. So how did the lock up? being locked up affect your artistry you feel like do you feel like it got better got worse you got more inspiration um, i feel like i grew as an artist but like i don't feel like it's because of jail i feel like i would have grew regardless whether i was in jail or not because i like music like i'm really this is my thing my passion you feel me but jail just kind of like opened me up to shit that i wasn't really paying attention to when i was living freely you feel me like what like, it, it started to make me realize, like, little shit, like, how, like, it made me appreciate shit, like, how lucky I am, you feel me? How, like, walk outside type yeah, thing. you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't go outside, I can't do what I want to do, and my family is there for me, there's certain people that don't got family there for them, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm starting to realize certain shit that I got that I might have taken granted for, like, well, all right, cool. Okay. For me? Okay, so do you feel like you had to adjust to your sound, though? Being that you came out and like it's yeah, a whole different came home, Yeah, that's a fact. Because when I first came home, mind you, I'm in jail. So I'm hearing here and there, I'm hearing little certain shit that's hot in the town, but I'm not really in tune with what all oh, the music okay. that's going on in the town. So I'm hearing all this commercial shit on the radio. So what I think is a banger is not a banger to niggas. <laughs> niggas is not listening to what's on the radio. You know what I'm so saying? So what was the banger that was on the radio that they was bumping and that was like, eh, came home and that wasn't it? Nah, I, nah, I, don't say it like that because <laughs> it's like, if you put this song on, niggas is gonna jack it. But niggas don't listen, listen to, to radio that, music. That home, niggas right. is straight Bluetooth in your mm -hmm. phone. And niggas wanna hear that drill shit. Niggas wanna hear all that fun shit. You know? <laughs> so like, what I thought was a hit to niggas is not a hit to niggas. I'm making this music for the streets. So whatever they wanna hear is right. what I gotta make. You feel me? Okay. So I had to definitely readjust my sound. For me. All right. So you out. K is still locked up. How often do y'all speak? Um, every day. That's my older brother. We already locked in. So does he have plans to continue music when he come home too? Yeah, he's coming home and you know K, if anybody know K, he's coming home with bullshit. <laughs> Super rich time and he want to go all the way up. He want to have a million V's at the Rikers Island gates when he come home. Like he's on bullshit, you heard? So okay. he's going to go up, you heard? He definitely planning on rapping and shit. Okay. And we definitely going to go all the way in. Y'all know us. I'm about to say, y'all going to do the dynamic yeah, duo yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, y'all know what's up. Okay, so people love how you pick your beats. How do you go about picking beats? Know. You Sometimes, have a set producer? Or? Yeah, now I got producers. At first I was on some going on YouTube shit, but now I got certain people that hit me up. I'll be working with um EP on the beat, shout out to him. Um I'll be working with A B Audio, you feel me? Those are my two main go to's right now. Um I got a lot of uh producers hitting me in my email that I'm connecting with. Keep sending them beats, you feel me? I'm listening to them. Um is there a producer you heard that you wanna work with? Um not like that got some five beats? EP was that nigga, and I got up with him, so now we gonna work. You feel okay. Me? Anybody else though? Nah, not really. Okay, so on your project, still stepping. You said that. Hold on, wait. You said that rappers wouldn't have made it to the industry if if you was home. Do you yeah, feel like that? I feel like if I made it home, 
if I'd have stayed home rather, mm -hmm. the standards for music would have been a lot higher. Like I feel like music is nothing right now. Niggas get on mm -hmm. the track in the booth and say anything on a fire beat and it's gonna go up. You feel me? Right. Like I make music though. Like I really, I'm really better than niggas. Like, when, you, <laughs> when you mention me, you gotta mention me with niggas that really make music. You feel me? So what so I'm like who? Is, like who really makes music? Like, like the niggas that's from my era. Like my son Tutu, even Chef and them. You feel me? Niggas that make. Good music, you get what I'm saying? Like, okay. niggas that don't just get in the booth and just talk bullshit, bro. Just, like, feel me, talk. Feel okay. me? You talk your shit when you're in the booth, bro. Niggas be talking bullshit. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word. All right, so explain the title of the EP, Still Stepping. Like, what does that mean? Like, we still, like, true word. We still stepping. True words. We still stepping, and that's a fact. Like, this shit is never going to stop, for me. And we came back. We had a lot of obstacles, a lot of shit. For me, got <laughs> in the way. Feel me, but we still here, we still stepping, man. We forever stepping, that's the motto, you know what's so. up? So, you gonna do a deluxe to that? Yeah, or you yeah, wanna yeah, push that a little more? That's a fact, y'all gonna get a deluxe real soon. We, go, we about to work, we about to start dropping real crazy. If y'all ain't notice what I'm doing, I'm setting everything up. We about to start dropping videos, all that shit about to start getting real crazy. Alright. A lot of artists, you know, like I said, be pressed of views and things like that. Do you? It, does it bother you that your numbers aren't as high as they used to be? No, nah, it just means I got to work harder. You feel me? I'm going to get there. My music is good. I know it's not whack. You feel me? We're going to get there. Somebody going to hear it. Somebody going to like it. You get what I'm saying? So all I got to do is just keep working harder, keep dropping. And I, my, a lot of people, main discrepancy with me is consistency. They want me to drop more. Yeah. So, feel me, I'm trying to work on that. It's a lot be going on with me. <laughs> uh, feel me, it's not just, you feel me, please bear with me. I'm going to drop, and every time I drop, it's going to be fire, I promise you. But we definitely going to pick so, up the pace. On the, on the, so, you the admit that you're not consistent? Nah, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm not consistent, though, because, like, I like the you way. You be in the booth a lot. I like, yeah, I be in the booth a lot. Hell okay. yeah, hell yeah. I got a lot of unreleased shit, but I don't like to just give my music out to people and it goes unnoticed. You get what I'm mm. saying? Once you just drop it back to back like that, it's like, okay, he just dropping mad shit and they not really okay. listening to the music. They just see me drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah. I, wanna, I want y'all to hear what I got to say. You feel me? So, I'm going to okay. drop this. Y'all going to listen to this. I'm gonna give y'all something else. You feel me? Okay, so what what does consistency look like to you? Some it's different now. It's different now. Nah, 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 nah. It's different now. <laughs> the game we in now from back then is different. Back then, dropping once a month was acceptable. Now it's not. You gotta drop. You gotta drop. Cause niggas. I feel dropping. like once a month is not bad. If you it's drop not visuals it. once a month. You can't do that no more. How, how often do you think we need to drop? You gotta drop. You gotta drop. You gotta what? at least like, give them two to three videos every month to me. The what? way the way niggas is moving these days, bro. Like nah. the fans want music now. They not playing with you. Drop that. <laughs> Just drop that. That's a fact. No, what happens is I feel like artists make the pressure on them when you post mad trillers. Which is true, but you gotta give them something. You they gotta give them something. something. But if you ain't even shoot the video, you should not be posting no trailer. That's a fact. Cause too, now you gotta. It'd be like yo. It'd be like after you come from the studio, you make a track. You like with your man. And, yo, this the one. You feel me? Niggas gotta go make a trailer to this right now. You feel and me? Like, that be, that's what it be. That's you when feel fans me? start going crazy. Yeah, I like, admit that. that. I admit that. I admit that. But you feel me? At the same time, you gotta understand. We got like we 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 rappers at the end of the day. But at the same time, we regular yeah, niggas have too. Fun with it, yeah. We doing shit too. You feel me? This shit yeah. going on. But I'm gonna drop though. Definitely anything for my supporters. If I gotta change for y'all, I'm gonna change for y'all. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop. So on your EP, still stepping. What what song you feel like best describes you? Mm, my intro, my intro, it, it spoke on everything basically. Feel me? Yeah, definitely the intro. So you feel like the intro straight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, do you have more? Do you have any other collabs? I know you got a song with Super Gates that's on the project. Yeah. Do y'all got more music in the tuck, or you have other collabs yeah, got, in the works? I got more songs with Gates. I'll pay my son Gates. I got mm -hmm. some songs in the cut with him too, though. Um, I got a lot of other features in the cut too, though. A lot I don't want to speak on. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But it's coming. Y'all gonna see me collab with niggas. I know y'all see me drop the tape, no features. I just feel me want to put something out for my fans. I feel like they want to hear me. You feel yeah. Me? So, and I, I saved that special spot for my son Gates. Okay. Uh, Gates. That's what's up. Facts. So, definitely more features out on the way. Yeah. They gotta stay tuned to see who it is. For sure, for sure. Okay, and in the song, Ain't the Same, we tap into your emotions a little bit. So, what made you um, be so vulnerable, like, in that? Well, in this project in general, I feel like you was real honest and open with your fans. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, because I feel like I've been going for so long, they really got to figure out who I am. Like, you get what I'm saying? They want to know, like, 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 who Kush been flocking is. I'm not Kush Blicky no more, mm -hmm. you feel me? They want to know who this new nigga is. So let me tell you who I am, you feel me? Okay. So I feel like this gate, this, this project was a good, like, was a good introduction to my new, you feel me, my new little path I'm about to take you out on. Okay. And what's next for Kush? Um, more music, more money, staying super rich, man. You feel me? It's always going to be free K-Flock and free tribe. You feel me? Free the unit. Word. I'm going to say super rich. So what does a super rich artist have? A super rich artist? Like, what you mean? Like, what like, you mean? What, what, what makes y'all stand out from everybody else? Like, to be a super rich artist. Because we really, artist, like, we are really real about this shit. There's no cap in our rap. Like, we really real about this shit. It's really, <laughs> we super rich and we acting bad. We not badly acting, you heard? This okay. is what we do, you feel me? <laughs> this is what we do. Like, niggas know what's up. Niggas know. Alright, alright. So tell people where to find you, where to find your music. Um, you could find me on Instagram, at Kush Been Flocking, you heard, YouTube, Super Rich Cartel Music, you feel me? Still stepping out now, all streaming platforms, go stream that. Y'all saw, man, we acting bad. I know what's up.